Elicit has actually changed their model within their program. And so they've actually removed the credits that Elicit used to have, where whenever you were working, everything you did cost so much credits and you could go up to a certain amount of credits. They've actually removed that now. You actually get more access to Elicit with both the free and the upgraded version of the program. And I'll include a link below to Elicit, but I kind of want to show you what they've done with the software now and what you can do now that they've gone away from this credit model. So if I come into Elicit, you have the initial page that allows you to do one of three things, find papers, extract data from PDFs where you upload PDFs to them and get a list of concepts. Now, each one of these will create a notebook and I'll leave a link above specifically talking about notebooks. So if I ask a research question, I'm going to ask, what are the benefits of creatine supplementation. And I'm gonna go ahead and ask that question. And just to let you know, right now I am on a free account. So you can see the upgrade here, and I'll talk in a little bit about what the different pricing options, what that looks like now for Elicit. So you see, I can get the summary of the top four papers. To get the eight papers, I have to upgrade. So within the top four papers, this gives me some information about what's important. So it talks about its ergogenic effects in sports and exercise, leading to gains in powers, post-exercise recovery, and uh, reducing the accumulation of plasma, lactate, ammonia, and hypoxanthine. And so within here, this is kind of similar how it is before. If you don't know about Elicit, you can see it gives you the paper name information and citation over here, the abstract summary here, and then you can add different columns on. Now, it used to be that every column you added on cost you a certain number of credits and you had a limited number of credits. What it is now is that you can add up to two columns onto a table. So I can add methodology and main findings. And then what I'll get, so main findings came on, but what just came up here was actually column limit reach, you can see. And so it says I have to remove some of my columns or I have to upgrade to see more columns. So that's essentially the change that was made. Instead of you being able to add unlimited columns and it just costs you credits every time, you can add two columns, two additional columns per table. And so you can see these methodologies aren't really working because they're on reviews. So it doesn't really have methodology there. We still have the abstract summary and then we have the main findings here. We still have the ability to access different filters, including study types, so we can specify to reviews, whether the abstract contains or doesn't contain things, publication year and journal quality, and whether it has the PDF or not. And then to export, you do have to upgrade. So you see, you can export to RAS, CSV, or BIB, but you do have to upgrade to be able to export any of this information out. Now, from here, what I can do is I can add new steps. And this was the new notebook development is you get this first one from doing whatever is on the main page or from starting your notebook. Then when you add a step, you can do one of the three original things without selecting a paper. But once you select a paper, then you can do these four additional things down here. So you can chat with papers, you can create a new table from the selected paper. So if I wanted to get new columns just on a few papers, I could do that. Um, summarize the abstracts or ask a new research question and find papers and do the three original things. So I'm gonna click chat with paper and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have it submit this in a second, but to use the full text, so it will actually go find the full text and use the full text for create for responding. If you don't do that, it's just going to use the abstract, so be aware of that. And so if I go ahead and press enter, you can see I get a rather quick response back. Again, this is on the free account. So creatine supplementation shows promise in reducing symptoms associated with concussion, mild traumatic brain injury, and depression. It's important role in the brain by contributing to energy transport and cellular energy buffering for cells and tissues with high energy demands. And so, this is how I can chat with different papers. I can ask different questions. Obviously right now it's only going to chat with the abstract. So it may make sense for me to select more papers than just having a single paper to chat with. Cause again, I'm only getting information back from the abstract. I might choose to select multiple papers. So let's say I'm going to just select these different reviews 
And then I can add a new step. And when I add a new step, I'm gonna say create a table from the selected papers. So you see this now gives me the ability to add in different ones because methodology that I did didn't really make sense for the review. So I'm gonna say, so after I clicked see more down here, there is a thing called study count. So I'm gonna add that in because these are all reviews. They should have multiple studies included. And you see, I got not mentioned for those. And then I'm also going to do research gaps. And now I'm gonna get the column limit reached. And so I got one, some research gaps for this paper. So overall, that is how you can use Elicit within their new thing. So I do wanna go over what the plan is. So within basic, so this is free, this is what I've been showing you today. You have unlimited searches across the papers, unlimited summaries of only four at once. You can chat with up to four papers at once and you can extract data from 10 uploaded PDFs per month. So you only have 10 PDFs you can upload. You can only add two columns and then you're able to import from Zotero and view sources with the plus. So if you upgrade, and again, I'll leave a link below if, if you're interested in this, um, you can then get the eight papers. You can do, you can chat with up to eight papers, but you also get the full text. You get the export abilities. You can extract data from 25 instead of 10 papers. And then you can add up to five columns to your table, one high accuracy, and extract data from tables inside of research papers too. So those are kind of the different model that Elicit has now undergone. If you are interested in any of that, again, I will leave a link in the description below. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.